back fellow artists and if you're new to my channel, welcome! I'm Mad Chen and I'm a digital illustrator. I create Procreate tutorials for beginners. For today's Procreate tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to draw a realistic magic bottle in Procreate. First, we need to set up a color palette for our magic bottle. I've created this color palette for you guys so that you can place it into Procreate to follow along with the tutorial. When you create this color palette in Procreate, please make sure that you place the colors in the exact same position as I've done here to make it easier for you to follow along with my Procreate tutorial. If you're not sure how to create a Procreate palette, you can check out one of my tutorials which I will leave a link up above to show you how to create a color palette. Feel free to grab your iPad so that you can paint with me. You can also pause at any point in the video in case you need more time. So now let's get started with the tutorial. First, let's go to the brush library, then go to calligraphy and select the monoline brush. Then we'll go to actions, then click on canvas. Go down here and turn on drawing guide, then click on edit drawing guide. Make sure that symmetry is selected. Click on options, then turn on assisted drawing and then click on done. Then we'll go to layers and click on background color. And I'm just gonna choose dark blue for the background because we'll be painting with white. I'm gonna start with a vertical line on the left side of our symmetrical guide. This is the neck of our bottle. Then we're gonna draw the body of our bottle like so. Then I'm just gonna make sure there's no spaces between any of the lines. Then we'll draw the opening of the bottle with oval shapes one slightly bigger than the other. Then we're gonna draw a slightly curved line to join the edges. Now if you need to, you can take this time to make any adjustments to your bottle. So for example, I'm going to redraw a flatter bottom and then just use the erase tool to delete any unwanted lines. Once you're happy with your bottle, we need to turn off the symmetrical guide. Then we're gonna go to the brush library, go down to the airbrushing category and choose the soft airbrush. Then we'll go to layers and duplicate the bottom that we've just made. Then make sure that you have the top bottle layer selected before dragging and dropping the color black. Go to layers then add a new layer. Click on the blank space and choose clipping mask. Then go to color palettes and choose white on the far left. Decrease your opacity and increase your brush size. So we're gonna start with some highlights on our bottle. During this time, you're free to change the size of your brush. As you can see, I have thinner strokes on the neck of the bottle and more larger strokes on the body of the bottle. Don't worry about being perfect with the highlights right now. We're going to be adjusting this a bit later. We just wanna get a general view and idea of where the highlights would look best in our bottle. Then we'll go to layers and add a new layer. Click on the blank space again and choose clip mask. Then go to color palettes and choose the second color from the top left and we're going to continue to build up our highlights. Then go back to color palettes and choose this pink on the left here. Go back to the brush library, go to the calligraphy category and make sure you have the monoline brush selected. Go back to layers, click on the black bottle layer, then add a new layer. Then we're going to go back and turn on the symmetry guide. This time we're going to be drawing the potion inside the bottle. So we're going to start off with an oval shape for the top of our potion. Then we'll draw on the body of the liquid. Please make sure that all of your lines are connected. Once you've done that, then we can turn off the symmetry drawing guide again. Then let's go back to layers and duplicate that pink potion layer. Make sure you have the top potion layer selected. Go to color palettes and choose this pink here and drag and drop that pink into the potion area. Then we'll go back to layers and then we'll click on N over here on the right and we'll go to opacity and lower the percentage down to 81%. Then we'll add a new layer, then go to color palettes and choose this purple down here. Then open the brush library, go to the airbrushing category and once again, make sure that you have the soft airbrush selected. Increase the brush size. Decrease the opacity. And now we're going to add a bit of purple tint onto the potion. Then go back to layers and click on the top layer. Then go to color palettes and choose the second color from the top left again. Then we'll increase our brush size and decrease our opacity so that we can add some extra highlights to the bottom of the bottle. Then we'll go to layers and click on the purple layer. Then we'll add a new layer. Go to color palettes and choose the dark blue. Then we'll decrease the size of our brush to 50% before adding some blue highlights onto the bottle. You can adjust the size of your brush at any point if you'd like to change up the size of your highlights. Then we'll go back to layers and choose the top layer again. Then go to color palettes and choose the second color from the top left. Then increase your brush size. 
and I'm just gonna add more highlights. Again, don't worry about this being perfect. We're going to fix this up later. Then I'm gonna go to layers and click on the end, and then I'm gonna take opacity down to 79% and click on the background color layer. Then go to color palettes and choose this black here. Then we'll go to layers again and choose the blue highlight layer. Then we'll go back to color palettes, then choose the dark blue again. Increase the brush size a little, and we're gonna add a little more blue highlight. Then we'll go back to layers and we'll duplicate the pink potion outline layer, and we'll drag the duplicated copy above the blue highlight layer. Then click on the second layer from the top and go back to color palettes and choose the white on the top left. We also need to put highlights on the mouth of the bottle. Then we'll go back to layers and select both the top two highlight layers and then we're going to pinch them together to join them as one. Now that they're combined, we're going to click on the erase tool so that we can clean up any of the highlights that have gone outside of the bottle. Go back to color palettes and choose the dark blue. Then we'll go back to layers and click on the blue highlight layer so that we can add more blue highlight. Then we'll go back to layers and click on the pink potion layer. Go back to Gaussian Blur. Put Gaussian Blur up to 10.8%. Then go back to layers and click on the pink outline layer just above the purple tint layer. And we're going to duplicate that layer until we have three copies. Doing this intensifies the color of the potion outline choose the top layer with the white highlights then click on the erase tool and this time we're gonna be fixing up the highlights within the bottle so any highlights that you feel aren't necessary can be deleted at this stage then go to color palettes and choose light blue and increase your brush size a little bit before adding it at the bottom of the bottle we're trying to create a glow effect so we don't want too many dark colors showing through in the area where the pink potion is then go to layers and go to the top layer then click on N and we're going to bring the opacity down to 78%. Then we'll go to the black bottle layer, click on N and we'll also go to opacity and bring it down to 17%. Then we'll go back to the top white highlight layer, click on the erase tool so that we can continue cleaning up any paint that spilled outside of our bottle outline. Then we'll go back to layers and add a new layer. Then we'll go to color palettes and choose the white on the top left. Increase your brush size a little bit so that we can start painting on the shinier parts of our bottle where the light directly hits. Then go to color palettes and choose the bottom pink here. Then go to layers and choose the pink outline layer just above the purple tint and drag that pink onto the surface of the potion. Then go back to color palettes and choose this dark pink here and drag this second pink onto the bottom part of the potion. Then go back to color palettes and choose the bottom pink again. Increase your brush size just a little bit. We're gonna paint on a little bit of a smoke effect onto our potion. Then go back to layers and click on the white highlight layer just above the blue highlight layer and click on the erase tool and we're going to minimize some of that white highlight at the bottom to make the pink cloud effect more visible and then we're going to go back to layers and choose the blue highlight layer click on n and bring down opacity to 66 percent now we want to add some pink highlights to reflect the pink potion then go to layers and click on the glowing potion layer then go back to color palettes and choose this pink here and we want to add some darker pink patches to our potion Go back to layers and choose the second white highlight layer. Click on the erase tool and delete any extra white highlights at the bottom of the bottle. Then go to color palettes and choose this white here. Decrease your opacity and brush size so that we can continue adding the main highlighted areas of the bottle. Then go to layers and click on the bottom layer, add a new layer, then go to color palettes and choose the bottom pink here. Then we'll go to the brush library and click on the calligraphy category and choose the monoline brush. Then decrease your opacity and draw on some magical pink dots going up the bottle in an S-like shape. Then we'll go to layers and duplicate that same layer three times. And then we're going to select them and pinch them into one layer. Click on Gaussian Blur and bring up Gaussian Blur to 5.9%. Then go to Layers and add a new layer. Then go to the Brush Library. Then click on the Luminance category. Then click on the Light Pen Brush. 
Now we're going to add some glow within those pink particles. Then we'll go to layers and we're going to choose the top potion outline layer. And we're going to draw on a glow outline for our potion. Then we'll go to layers and click on the bottom pink potion layer and add a new layer. We're going to draw a pink glow at the bottom of our potion. Click on Gaussian Blur and put Gaussian Blur up to 7.3%. Then we'll go back to layers and add a new layer and we're going to put some glow on the surface of our potion. Then we'll go to Gaussian Blur and put it up to 4.7%. Then we'll go to layers and click on the second highlight layer, add a new layer, go to color palettes and choose the white on the top left. Then go to the brush library, click on the airbrushing category and choose the soft airbrush. Again we're going to put in the main highlighted areas of the bottle. Then we'll go back to layers and we're going to choose all the layers. Then click on the transform tool so that we can pinch our image into a slightly smaller one. We need to create some space for smoke to be coming out from the bottle. Go to layers and make sure you have the glowing potion outline selected. Add a new layer and draw in some pink smoke going up the bottle. Then go to layers and click on the bottom layer. Add a new layer. Go to color palettes and choose this dark blue. Increase your brush size and decrease your opacity. And we're going to paint on some blue at the bottom of the bottle to create a nice balance of colors. Our magic bottle is looking pretty good. We just need to clean up some of the extra paint that's gone outside of the bottle. Now the next part is optional. You can keep your bottle the way it is or you can add some additional details like adding more highlights, adding additional smoke coming out of the bottle and also adding more of those glowing particles. And now you know how to draw a realistic magic bottle in Procreate. Thanks for watching guys. If you'd like to be notified of future Procreate tutorials, you can subscribe to Mad Chen and turn on notifications. If you have any questions, comments, or problems with Procreate, please leave comments down below because I want to be supportive and help you guys get better at using Procreate and also get better at your artwork. You can also check out my other Procreate tutorials which I will leave links up above and also in the description below. I hope you guys have a lovely day and I will see you in the next Procreate tutorial.